Yeah, hello, who is it? Come in, please. Ah, madam, okay. <laughs> you are most welcome. Thank you. <laughs> madam, you came with your entire family. I hope uh, all is well. Uh, uh, girls, you've lost your manners. Won't you say hello to doctor? Good morning, Good morning sir. Good morning, girls. I hope we are all fine. Ah, uh, they are okay, but they are not all okay. Oh my God, what is the matter? These girls, they want to kill me before my time. What is going on? I hope you guys... I mean, what have you guys been up to? We have not done anything, no. Our mom is just overreacting. You shut up. Who is overreacting? Spoiled brats. And you are still talking. Mother, what exactly is the matter? Could you believe that these girls, they have started having sex? And... I don't know what to do at this tender age. Doctor, it's not true. Hey, I don't know where our mom is getting all these strange ideas from. All oh, because she saw pictures that we took in the beach on her phone. She's just overreacting. Oh, will you shut up? Was I not once your age? I used to attend parties at the beach. But do you know what those boys are up to? But mom, you're wrong. We told you already these boys are just our friends, right? Mm -hmm. And we only went for a beach party, that's all. Beach party? Yes. Beach party. Okay, we will know whether it is beach or beach. Madam, I'm really lost with what is going on here. What exactly do you want me to do for you, Madam? Okay. I want you to do a virginity test ah. for all of them. Because their father is blaming me. Uh, Mom, then you should have brought me here. Or did I attend the big party with the both of you? I don't even have a boyfriend. <laughs> Your case is a delicate one. If you see what I saw on her phone, pornographic video, and she's telling me she's a virgin. Mm, no, it, my, my classmate sent it to me. And I just wanted to see what it looks like. I don't, no. I've not done that kind of thing before. I've not done it before. Madam Oka will conduct the test. Beyond the test, you girls need proper counseling and sex education. It is very important. Doctor, please help me and carry out the test. I can't wait. Favor, how old are you? I'll be 19 this August. Hmm. That's five months from now. That's quite close. And you, Faith? I'm almost 18. I'll be 17 December. You guys are quite young and vulnerable to unwholesome peer, peer pressure. I mean, you need to watch the company you keep. Your mom is only trying to be good to you. She's one, she wants the best for you guys. Thank you very much, doctor. Thank you. I've heard all you said. Hmm? What, you. Where are you going? Sit down there and wait for your test. Girls, you heard what your mom said. Is there anyone among you who is no longer a virgin? I mean, so that we don't need to waste time and money. Yeah, doctor, I don't know about my other sisters, but for me, I'm still a virgin. Me too. <laughs> me too. <laughs> okay, good. The test will confirm the claim or disprove the claim. Um, favor, we are starting with you first as the eldest. Okay, and the rest of you should wait outside in the waiting room while we we'll carry out the test. Uh -uh. We are all one family now. Which one are we going outside to go and do what there? Hey, madam, okay, I prefer you all to be outside, okay, in order to avoid distraction. You see, I also want to remind you that the result of this test should be kept confidential from each of the girls, please. Okay, no problem. We'll wait. Okay. <laughs> uh, favor? Mm. It's your turn. We have to carry out the test for you. Mm. So we we'll carry out the test now. So I have a confession. There's no need to do any test. Why not? Because I'm no longer a virgin. Can't you see? I'm a big girl. And you had to take your mom through all this trouble? Because oh, she's always troubling us. That's why. Am I a virgin? No. You are still a virgin. 
Is that what you call me? I said you are a virgin. Thank you. You are a virgin. <laughs> Doctor, doctor. You are a virgin. I'm a virgin. Yes. Say it again. You are a virgin. Say it again. You are a virgin. Ah, doctor. It's good to be embarrassed here than to embarrass the whole family and then get pregnant until when the result comes up, we know who is innocent. Mom, we are all innocent though. I don't know why you brought us here. Let the result come out. We will know who is virgin or not. I'm done with her. Faith is you now. Okay. Mommy. I guess you're happy now that you brought us here to humiliate us. Even myself, I don't trust myself nowadays. I don't... I don't trust myself until we know the result of the test. What if those boys uh, rough handle you? Eh? Or get you pregnant? That is going to be the beginning of the trouble. Just take off her dress and lie on this bed. Look, is this really necessary? I mean, you can just tell my mom I'm still a virgin. You don't need to waste your time doing all this. But are you a virgin? Well, that's what my mom wants to believe, and you're the only one that can convince her. Then, uh, in that case, you're trying to tell me to cover up for you? Well, something like that. There's no free lunch anywhere in the world, you know. I, know. I mean, all these things come with a price. And I'm ready to pay. You're ready to pay? Yeah. Okay, let me see what you got. <laughs> Doctor. <laughs> no, no, no. This one is beautiful. Okay. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Doctor. You're a virgin. You're a virgin, honey. You're a virgin. <laughs> Stop asking me questions. Just come in. There's no need to be afraid. It's just only a fixed school examination, okay? You look moody, kind of. No, sir. It's just that I, I don't know if I'm still a virgin or not. Uh, do you mean you'll be sleeping around with boys? No, no, sir. Uh, it's because me and my friend, when his parents were out, we were, we were just playing together. And then he... He did what? Was it the same friend that uh, sent you the pornographic video? Yes. Yes, he, he is the same person. But we, we did not do anything, no, because I, I pushed him off. It was very painful, so I pushed him off. Was there any bleeding or did he penetrate deeply? Yeah, yes, sir. There was bleeding, but he didn't penetrate. When I felt a sharp pain, I, I pushed him. That wasn't interested. Mm. That sharp pain you felt was as a result of the broken soft skin membranes called the hemming. That means that you are not a virgin anymore. Uh, he, my mom is going to kill me. What am I going to do? Don't worry, your mom will not kill you. I can help you out. All you need to do is to have sex with me. Hmm? Have sex with you? Or would you rather want your mom to get to know that you are no longer a virgin? No, 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 no. So? I don't want my mom to know. So that is it? I'm just afraid it's going to be... No, come on. This time around, it's not going to be that painful. I'm going to penetrate you very gently. I'm going to take it very slowly. Take it to cloud nine, okay? Don't worry, come on. Come on. Just come on. Oh, baby. Oh. Ah, why is this test taking so long? It's been me writing the reports for you. Oh, okay, that's true. Oh, doctor, I'm just complaining that the thing is getting too long. 
And why is she limping? Uh, you know, your little daughter, she was shy and, you know, and uh, scared for me to examine her. But anyhow, she was dragging, she hit her feet on the bed stick. Oh, no. Her. Okay. Yeah. I hope it's not too painful. Fine, Sorry. Thank you, Mom. Uh oh. Sit down. Uh, Madam, that's the test result. Oh, thank you. Doctor, that's good. My girls are intact. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. You are most welcome. I know you'll be very proud of the doctors. They are good girls anyway. Yeah. And I will appreciate if you can send these girls back to me for another round of counseling. I will do that, Doctor. <laughs> okay. Thank Madam. you very much. I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> Mommy, you promised to buy me Oh, girls, girls, I'm taking you all to London for a big shopping. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> if you just go now because I need some shoes and dresses. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Dr. Williams. Uh, You've been sleeping? Ah, uh, Dr. Paul. I just had one hell of a dream now. Are you sure you're okay? You know, doctors can be sick too. Yeah, I'm okay. We are late for the appointment. That's why I rushed in. Uh. We have to move. Let me go give my office to you.